It is Saturday, the week of August 26th. Uh, we made it full. We made it through a full week this time, which is a big thing and a good thing. Not doing terrible or anything like that. Um, gonna keep pushing through. Um, trying to get some uh, extra work in this uh, this. Uh, long weekend here what with uh, not having school Monday so hoping I can get a little bit ahead in the books and that'll help keep me going it's a little rough trying to just keep up day to day but I'm here I'm still here and uh, the idea is to keep on pushing on until either we make it I can't hold the C average and we have to go or medical conditions of some sort basically take us out uh, things have been horrible I mean it's, it's neat and to be able to sit down and actually look at you know Greek and Hebrew and have a general idea of what's going on I can I can certainly read some stuff out of the Greek my Greek Bible I don't necessarily know what I'm reading or what it's saying but I can sound it out and read sentences out of it um, hopefully I can be able to do that here shortly with the Hebrew side of my Bible as well and that'll, that'll be awesome the Greek is, is fun I mean it's a, it's a neat language I think Hebrew is going to be the killer at this point. It seems to be the toughest one, uh, but we'll find out. Um, other than that, everyone seems to be doing I mean, well enough. We've all been sick this week, which is terrible. I mean, we started up Monday strong, and then Tuesday everybody got sick, and we've just been going downhill this whole week. So hoping that this coming week will be better and that we won't have anybody sick, and I'll be able to start getting onto a regular, regular schedule. I, uh trying to get up at 5 a.m. and then study and then get to school by 7 and study till my first class, usually Greek, and then run Hebrew after classes until I want to get home around 5, 5.30 and then Greek at night and then whatever else I need to do for my other classes like uh, BHL and uh, whatever's going on in my psychology class. Um, Not a lot else to say. I will tune back in next week for another update. Slightly different location. I was heading back from the uh, fountain and realized I forgot most of the stuff I wanted to talk about. Well, not most of it, but a lot of it. Um, what was it? Thursday, we had that storm come through, so on top of not feeling super well, I got a migraine, so that kind of that hit extra hard, and I've just kind of been dragging since then. Um, I found it rather difficult to read some of the textbooks that I've got, so picked up some reading glasses from Walmart uh, the 3x magnification it, it helps quite a bit like like the Greek and the Hebrew in, in my Bible I could couldn't make out any of the uh, the punctuation and, and the, the pointer dots and whatnot and, and with the, the glasses on it's pretty pretty good I can see quite clearly I uh, have a, an appointment with an optometrist on the 12th to actually just have my eyes checked out because who knows maybe I just need glasses can't tell anymore if the minor vision issues I have are from migraines or if they're just my eyes getting old. I am 44, so it's not unheard of. Uh, what else we got going on here? I think that was the blunt. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the, uh, the issues of dyslexia that I'm pretty certain I'm, I'm dyslexic at this point. Um, I find that when I'm reading Greek words or even Hebrew stuff that I, I, I just, I can't access information about letters. Like, I can go through flashcards and just know everything. Just grab the letters, sounds, whatever I need to know. But when it comes to seeing them together in words, they just, I can see them. I can recognize them as, I guess, as individual characters, but I can't. But at the same time, I can't recognize them as individual characters. It's hard to describe, but I just like, it's like that section of my brain that contains information about these characters just shuts off. So, I'm currently working on trying to figure out what I need to do about that and how to get through that. I don't have a lot of spare time to really dig into it too much, but I can't afford not to. So, it's kind of a conundrum situation. I just, I'm hoping that a lot of it is just that I don't know it well enough, and as I know it better, it'll correct itself a little bit, but I, I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird. Uh, I, had, I was trying to read the word logos off the board, I think it was Wednesday, and... 
I know the word. I've read it many times, and I it's I got the beginning and the end of it, and then I was looking at the gamma that's right in the middle of it, and I just I could see the gamma. I knew it was a Greek character. I knew that I should know what it was, but I just I didn't have access to the data that told me what that letter was. And I just stood there staring at the board until the teacher asked if anyone could help me, and they, they said gamma, and I immediately and I immediately read the word. It was just like, I just had to, I couldn't pick out what that letter was, even though the information about it was there, I just couldn't access it. And so, and it, it gets more difficult the bigger the words are. Uh, I have troubles determining that letters are diphthongs. I will try to read some Greek, and it it will be difficult to read, and it'll take me a little bit before it occurs to me that it's a diphthong, so it makes a totally different noise with the two letters joined together. Uh, and in the the Hebrew is it's tough with the uh, the vowel pointers, as I'm not well, I'm not super good with them right now, but I do find that even with the Hebrew and, and the vowel pointers, I can look at a letter, I can see a vowel pointer, even though I know what the letter is and what sound it should make and what sound maybe the vowel pointer should make, I can't quite grasp it, I grab it and pull it up, so I just kind of sit there and stare. So we're going to continue to work at that and uh, see how that pans out, that's going to be a a tough thing if it's going to continue to haunt me.